the Jazz Guitar Society. And this is Dave Hill. I'm Dave Hill, and we're going to talk about some new stuff today. something that adds a lot of interest in musical situations that you can uh, find yourself in and that is the concept of diminished <laughs> diminished scale in this case I'm going to call it a dominant diminished and it's it's interesting because what it is is it has a symmetrical relationship of the notes and the dominant in your scale. Listen to what happens now. Right. You notice there's a few tension notes. So I think uh, if you have a healthy dose of, of patterns and sequences and also more melodic applications as much as you can with diminished. That's what gives you a, a rounded, diminished vocabulary. You don't want to just play patterns all the time. Look at my finger now. This is the one I use all the time. And I keep going up to the high uh, strings. And I always try to see every dominant diminished pattern on top of a respective dominant shape. Notice that I was using tries that time. These are things that you can just work out and just connect them up the neck. Seven shape. And that would be my resolution. 